Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your six months from now. So this is like six months from the day you watch this reading. And this reading is kind of like for fun, but whatever I pick up on. Um, keep in mind that, you know, your free will plays a part and so much can change over the next six months. So it really can. So this is what I'm seeing six months from now based on the current energy. Keep in mind, like we got six months of changes before this reading plays out. So let's just see what comes up. We're going to start with this deck right here. We're going to get a couple of cards to, you know, just get an overall message with these. What do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus six months from now. Oh, well, we're going to have to take these. I mean, what do we got? We got six of them here. Well, that's good. That's good. So we got six. That's kind of a few, but whatever. We're going to take them because they all fell out. Ring. Oh, boy. A ring. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Now, I would have to say that that could be just getting a ring, okay? It doesn't have to be an actual marriage, but it could be. It could be a renewal of a marriage. It could be somebody in your circle that is getting married. Um, could be a new new job, you know what I mean? A marriage will take place or it will be the beginning, okay? Somebody could be getting a ring, okay? No, it's not on the right hand, but I'm just saying somebody could be getting a ring or the marriage could actually take place. Or it could be an anniversary. Scissors. Disappointment in some affair. Hmm. Man. Dealings or relationship with a man. Broken wishbone. A wish will not be granted. Hmm. Beetle. Good fortune. Perhaps it's a blessing in disguise. And desk, pay attention to your work. Pay attention to your work. So I think we have a man. You notice where I put the cards. We have a man that is not going to have his wish granted. He's probably going to be disappointed. It's very fortunate, even though it may not seem like it is. Perhaps this man did not pay attention when he was supposed to. And who and he's losing somebody. But there is a man that is giving a ring, okay, or he something like that. But there is also somebody that is disappointed because they're not getting their wish. We do have a man that is be is disappointed because he's not getting his wish, and we also have another, and he could be disappointed because the woman or somebody is getting a ring. That's what I just want to say. Um, we do have some sort of good fortune here and pay attention to your work. Somebody is not getting their wish granted because they didn't pay attention. Somebody else is getting their fortune or they're getting the, the job or they're getting the person. One man's trash is another man's treasure, right? So we do have somebody that is, is getting a ring in the next six months, or they're getting married. So, interesting. So what do we have for Gemini six months from now? What do we have for Gemini? Somebody's going to be disappointed, that's for sure. Two of Wands reversed. Oh, lack of planning, fear of the unknown, being held back. Could also be a sudden arrival or return. Letting the past hurts, behind, leaving the past hurts behind. Moving forward. Six months, you're going to be in a much better place. There's your Knight of Wands. This is somebody who takes action. Done thinking. Act now. Think later. Ten of Cups. You're happily ever after. Not going to be single. Uh, yeah. Somebody that is very well suited. 
Um, hmm. Two of Swords reversed. Two of Swords. I mean, so something to do with a partnership. There's this is this is uh, there is somebody here that has been holding on to some sort of pain, right? Where's it? Here it is. Somebody's been holding on to some sort of pain. They've been overly cautious. They've been uh, emotionally detached or emotionally guarded, trying to protect themselves. But now it's like they're opening up. They're finding their strength and their courage to be brave and open themselves up. I feel like in six months from now, we have somebody here that is, um, I don't know, it feels like giving up their independence by the looks of things. The Nine of Pentacles reversed. It's like giving up their independence, getting into a relationship with somebody that is very well suited. This is an exciting opportunity. This is really good news. I feel like you're going to need to have the courage to uh, allow this and leave the past hurts behind. And, and the Three of Swords is forgiveness. Okay? It's healing. It's, it's allowing. It's not letting the past pain uh, consume you and hold you back. So I think that we definitely have somebody here that is opening up. There is definitely an entrance or somebody that is very excited and they're eager. They're e eager to move forward. They're eager. They're eager. Um, but the page of pentacles reversed is... Um, somebody that doesn't want responsibility. Lack of commitment. But moving, it's like there's been a lack of commitment. But the Six of Swords is moving forward. Six of Swords upright is is moving on. Moving on from the no commitment to into a com... You guys are obviously getting into some sort of commitment here. And I think there's a lot of fear, okay? The very first card is fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of, ha fear of the relationship. Fear of it ending, you know, before... Ending prematurely, put it that way. I feel like in six months, you guys are going to be ready. I think that you are going to be ready uh, to open up. And somebody is probably going to approach you with, with, I think it is the ring. And I think there's been a lack of commitment. But I think that they're ready. They're ready to get to that next place. They're ready to, you know, take that step. I really feel like something really good and then I'm gonna have to get more cards for this one right now there's there's a uh, insecurity so I think there's there's insecurity and there's somebody here that is independent and you know they're not gonna be independent for long they're not they're gonna receive it this is an invite okay this is an offer so we have this independent person who has been independent who has been through a painful separation in the past that is getting an offer for, you know to uh, i mean take a look at that be a family to uh commit to you know do this together you know this is happiness this is bliss to build a relationship so i think that we do have somebody here that is getting an invite or an offer for you know commitment i think it is commitment and i think this is an opportunity to heal i mean this is like this is healing and this is healing the past hurts and in being healed and being ready so um Now we have uh, a lot of, we have, uh, let's just get right here, but get prepared, absolutely get prepared. I think we have somebody here that is finding their confidence to make an offer, okay, somebody's going to be, it's probably a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person is probably making an offer, um, they're finding the courage to do so, you should get ready, you should get ready for this. Uh, now this is about focusing on the future and leaving the past behind something you've been waiting for here it is you've been waiting for that offer i feel like this person has been reluctant to make the offer probably because of uh why has this person been reluctant to make the offer maybe because of fear of rejection why were they reluctant to make the offer oh because they're dealing with a woman that has been hurt and they know it 
they know it. I think that they haven't made the offer because, you know, they know that, that whoever they're dealing with is very authentic and truthful and honest. And when they come forward, they're going to have to be the same way. A little intimidating. I think they they haven't made the offer because of, you know, the Queen of Swords is, is a person that has been hurt and been hurt very, very, very badly. She has grown into a very independent woman. She's very independent. She's very... Um, intellectual she's very intelligent she knows that she doesn't take any shit from anybody so she can be intimidating so I think we have this person that is wanting to move forward but they're a little intimidated by you okay they're a little intimidated by you know this I mean the Queen of Swords is somebody that is is hard to to it's hard is hard. This person is hard because of their past experiences. But I feel like this person has grown. It's like they've grown, you know, and they, they feel the beauty. They feel the love. They feel the attraction. There's definitely some sort of attraction here with these wands. So, um, intimidated. Oh, yee. She's some crow. We have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Now there's insecurities. There could be some trust issues with these two queens right here, okay? We, this person has probably been holding back because of, you know, this person's insecurities. But I think that they're ready and they're going to hope for the best. I think that they're they're ready to step forward and, and they're going to hope and pray that, you know, they're making the right decision. And I think that... There, there, there could be some jealousy issues. There's definitely some insecurities, okay? There is. We got somebody here that is very insecure and they have trust issues. So that could be one of the issues that has stopped this person from progressing forward. But there is going to be progress made. We have somebody here that is ready. They are definitely ready. And I think they're going to they're gonna find the courage to make that offer. Um I think that their intuition is guiding. They probably feel some sort of deep connection. But I, and they may be dealing with somebody that is a healer, somebody that is very intuitive. This person may have gifts, may be very gifted. And so that can be a little intimidating as well. So I think there's some sort of intimidation here. Um, fear, fear of, you know, not being able to hide anything. You can't hide anything from the high priestess or the queen of swords. You can't. You can't because this person is, is, is an investigator. Okay. And, and very observant. So we have that very in observant individual here that is getting an offer. Um, and it has to do with, with, uh, I think it has to do, obviously I think it has to do with marriage. Um, but this is like, unblocking and and it's like unblocking and opening up you're going to need to follow your intuition here i think your intuition is going to give you the answers i do feel like there's also some sort of deep feelings when the high priestess comes up there's deep feelings here we have we have two people that have deep feelings for each other that have grown because there's growth there's a lot of growth and now it's like now ready it's time it's here it's the time is now it's that's what I see. Um, new beginning, stepping into new territory. So this is a fresh start. This is exciting. It's an exciting opportunity to uh, start over, you know, to start a whole new life, to start a whole new journey. Okay. I think we have somebody here that is ready to take a risk and they, they're looking for a relationship. So there's a new beginning here. It's starting from scratch with somebody brand new. And, and maybe it's not brand new. Maybe starting over. Maybe you've been in a relationship and things have been rocky or there's been problems and there's whatever. But this is starting fresh. Okay. Somebody is receiving something really good. This is an offer and it is very exciting. It's an exciting. I mean, this is exciting. This is exciting. This is exciting. This is a new partner. This is or a, a, a new step. It's a relationship that is stepping it up to the next level. And I think that it increases includes like marriage or something like that um this is leaving out the whole the past behind and, and 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 maybe moving somebody maybe moving in with somebody or or traveling to a new destination this is um definitely exciting we have an exciting new opportunity 
with somebody that is very well suited. There may be a little bit of an age difference between these two people. One person may be, you know, maybe it's not a little, maybe it's a, maybe it's a few years or something like, it could be 10 years. There's the age difference, could be 10 years, could be two years. But it's a perfect, it's, it's perfect, okay? Because it's, a, it's well suited. This is somebody that is well suited for you. This is a new direction. This is taking a new direction with somebody into a relationship that could bring a lot of happiness. This is like, I mean, swans and children. I mean, this is so easy. It's beautiful. It is perfect. So I think the waiting is over. I do. If you have been single and you've been waiting for this proposal, here it comes. Maybe it's October. Maybe it's an October wedding. So anyway, Gemini, and if it's not, if it doesn't have anything to be do with the wedding, it could be a business. It could be, it could be a new business venture, right? Because this is a new beginning that leads to a lot of happiness. So you have a new, be in six months from now, you are going to be in your glory. I know that you are. And it's, maybe it's with a partner that you work with very well. You could, some of you are starting your own business. And this old business could have to do with with helping others because I feel like there's a healing energy here. We have a healer here. This is a healer. This one is too. So there's some sort of healing energy here. And this could be a healing love. Um, but there's insecurities for sure that need to be dealt with. There's some sort of insecurities that need that, you know, you need to have faith and you need to have trust. You need to have faith and trust that... You know, everything is going to work out and, and take a risk. I feel like you're being called to take this risk. It could lead to, to a lot of happiness. So I, I do believe that, that somebody is going to make a decision to make an offer that leads to uh a whole new life. I mean, this is a whole, this is a, this is a new chapter, a new phase, a new journey. And it's risky and it's scary, but it's exciting at the same time. It's like their gut is telling them that this is the one. So in six months from now, I feel, or this business venture, whatever it is, this is it. This is, this is, this is exciting. In six months from now, you will be in a whole new place. Put it that way. You will be in a whole new seeing things differently. You will be opening yourself up. You will be in a happy place. Okay. You will be very happy. This is happiness, extreme happiness. It's like leaving that past a situation behind that was painful and hurtful. And, and it, I don't think you're going to be doing it on your own. I really don't. I feel like you're, 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 it's like with another person. It is. I feel like you are going to be with somebody that is your, I almost feel like best friends. I think that, you know, it's it's a it's a time of growth, it's a time of expansion and you are about to receive an exciting offer from somebody that uh, it, I mean it's so easy. It's so easy. It's perfect. It's just the per it's just perfect. So 6 months from now something is about to take place that uh You've probably been waiting for because of this three of wands. You've been waiting for it. Here it is. I think it's it's like this person just decides I'm going for it. I'm going to take this risk. I'm going for it. So good luck. You're going to be in a beautiful spot. Very beautiful. And whoever you're dealing with is very gentle. They're very, or you are, because this is very gentle, very at ease, very calm. And you are being called to have no fear. So be fearless during this time.
get prepared for somebody to give you something that makes you very, very happy and it leads to a lot of happiness. But you're going to have to deal with your insecurities. You're going to have to deal with your fears, okay? You're going to have to deal with your trust issues or your jealousy issues. There could be some jealousy issues here. You may be you may be suspicious, but you have to trust. Trust. Have faith. Have faith. I think this leads to a beautiful happy commitment. But I also feel like we have somebody that is not getting their wish, obviously. And maybe it's another man that fucked up. So anyway... I guess I don't have anything else to say. Good luck on your new life. This is like your dreams coming true. Good luck. <laughs>